Assalamu alaikum. If your wife were to tell you to delete a certain contact from your phone, would you do that? And if your husband were to ask you to delete a certain contact from your phone, would you delete that? Well, I want to tell you that whose relationship do you value more? Number one. Number two is what is the reason they are asking you to delete the contact? Have you had inappropriate communication with that person? Is it necessary to be in touch with that person? What are you gaining from the relationship or the connection or the contact with that particular person? Now, if you've come together in marriage with someone, surely they are important. They are supposed to be the most important person within your social circles. So the Prophet says, خيركم خيركم The best from among you is he or she who is best to his spouse or her spouse. Now, if that is the case, then surely being the best to your spouse would mean if they requested and recommended or asked you to delete a contact or to stop communicating with a particular person, then you would definitely take that seriously. And if you didn't have any meaningful, constructive, highly beneficial communication with the person, they're asking you to delete from your device or from your contacts, you would actually then delete it for their sake to make them happy because to make your spouse happy you would become one of the best people right as per the hadith of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and it's not in the transgression of allah in fact it's probably going to draw you closer to Allah by deleting someone whom your spouse feels is going to be a problem in your relationship with your spouse so many people say i'm not going to do that you know that's okay, it's up to you, do what you want, you can go home if you want. All those statements are not the statements of a wise, responsible person. You think about who is asking you to do what. And some people say, don't let your spouse control you. Well, to be honest with you, if what they are asking you is going to make them happy when you fulfill it, and it's not something haram, it's reasonable, you're not going to suffer a major loss if you do that, then come on. Consider it, do it for their sake and for the sake of your relationship. Don't be, you know, a person who wants to come across as very tough to say, I will do what I want. Who are you? Well, I'm your spouse, subhanAllah, and I'm requesting it. If my spouse were to request me to cut communication with a particular person, I would chop it off. If they were to say, delete this contact, it's gone. It's history because... For me, my relationship with my spouse would actually mean, uh, uh, you know, the best relationship with my spouse would mean I am a very good person based on the advice of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and his instruction. I mean, I didn't marry for nothing. May Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala grant us an understanding. So this is why I'm here to tell you today, if your spouse is saying, delete this contact, delete it. And if for some reason you feel that it's going to be a very big loss if you don't, explain to the spouse without screaming, without yelling, you know, explain to them why exactly you need it. And you need to understand all they're trying to do is protect you from communication that would either lead to something wrong or that would hurt them. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it easy. And notice how I haven't only spoken about wives or only husbands, but both. And the same would apply, subhanAllah, if we cared for someone and they asked us to do something, surely we would do it. It would make them happy. So what about a spouse? Surely we should be caring about our spouses, our children, our family members and so on. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us a deep understanding. The best from amongst you are those who are best to your spouses. I know some people don't really think of that, but if you were to ponder over those words of the Prophet, peace be upon him, indeed they would be really, really beneficial. They would change the way you do things. Before I end, let me tell you that don't just go through the devices of your spouses unnecessarily. It's not something that's recommended at all. Don't spy. It is prohibited. Don't try to pry and look into what they're doing. That's also wrong. But at the same time, don't tell them 
to delete contacts just to see whether they listen to you or do something when there is no need for that. If there is no need for it, then leave it. Learn to be trusting, learn to be a person who does not just uh, issue instruction or request things without proper reason. If there's a reason, alhamdulillah, but don't be unreasonable by asking your spouse to just delete this, cut that contact, cut this and cut that because of your shak and your doubts. No, don't have doubts. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us ease. However, my brothers and sisters, all of us have communication with the opposite sex, those whom we are not related to, for purposes of something beneficial, whether it's work, whether it's something that we need, etc. Keep it respectful. Make sure that it is respectful and make sure that it is well within what would please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because humankind is such that you can easily fall into a new level that may not be so pleasing to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala anymore. So for that case or for that reason, we must make sure that we are transparent in our relationships and that we understand how to prioritize. I've struck the balance here. Number one, telling you that we should consider what our spouses would be happy with. Number two is telling you that when you want to ask your spouse something, don't be unreasonable in that request. May Allah make it easy for every one of us in our relationships. The most beautiful people are those who have the most blessed relationships with their families, the greatest understanding, the most tolerant and at the same time uh, respectable to each other, respectful. You're filling, fulfilling each other's rights in a beautiful way and beyond just the rights. You have a relationship that's amazing. May Allah grant every one of us that goodness. Aqulu qawli hadha wa sallallahu ala nabina Muhammad wa assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.